over here in the House side and the House pursuing this aggressively, holding the hearing, having all the partners working together to create a, a common vision to go forward. It just comes down to this. Are we here for the purpose of pumping up our personal profit or pursuing the public purpose? Mm -hmm. And it's a conversation we have been having for a decade mm -hmm. because it was April 4th, back in 2012, that Sherrod Brown and I put forward the banned stock trading, banned conflicted trading amendment on the Stock Act. And, you know, we had a group of senators that joined us, but not too many. Uh, and it has been a process over this last decade of coming back to the issue of increasing the integrity of the work we do. The American people have doubts when they read studies that say members of Congress have stock portfolios that perform significantly better than the general public and wonder where are they getting that information from. And here's the thing. What should one have in their mind at the moment that you are voting on a bill? Public purpose, not your portfolio. What should you have in mind when you're considering an amendment? Public purpose, not your portfolio. What should you have in mind when you are crafting legislation and working with your legislative team? The public purpose, not your portfolio. So that's what this is all about. And there's lots of complexities we all discover in working on this. We learn a lot about family trusts and estate planning. We learn about relationships with spouses and, and dependents. Uh, we learn about uh, how do you define widely diversified. And the team on the House side here has been working on all of these details. And over on the Senate side, a team has been working on those details as well. And I want to say how valuable it's been to have a couple of our new members really engaged on this on the Senate side. And that certainly includes uh, John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock and Mark Kelly, as well as members who have been here continuing to work on this, uh, such as uh, Kirsten Gillibrand and Sherrod Brown. And, and I, know, I know I'm missing others, and I should have written them all down, but the point is many bills have now been introduced. It's no longer just the one bill, ban conflicted trading. We have about five bills, including a couple bills on the Republican side. We're trying to bring all those folks together to common vision, and that's what's happening on the House side. Let's not lose this opportunity. Time is running out. Campaign season is upon us. Many bills are being lined up for the majority leader in the Senate to say, get this bill on the floor. We have to compete with that. And to compete with that, we have to consolidate the different ideas we have about this bill and then coordinate it with the House and Senate. So I'm just really, really excited and pleased about this important work the House is doing. I'm excited about the work the Senate is doing. And we must get this done. This is the year to make it happen. The 10-year anniversary of the initiation. Let's not wait another second. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Uh, one of the reasons